Hi everyone, I'm Jen. Come on Eileen, da 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 da. That song a few years ago popped in my head when I woke up and I thought, wow, I haven't heard that in a long time. Maybe I heard it subliminally on a radio somewhere, but um, didn't really think of it. Uh, I did think of my uh, former stepmother-in-law um, we used to talk every day before the divorce, and she's so dear to my heart, but we no longer talked, um, you know, as often. But I, I didn't. I didn't call her, even though that song reminded me of her. But the next morning, I wake up to, come on, Eileen. And I'm just waking up to not, there's no radio or anything. It's just the song popping in my head again. And so I thought, this is it. This must be another unexplainable unexplainable with a capital U so I give her a call and she answers the phone all groggily it turns out the day before the day that I originally heard the song she had surgery she was in the hospital and um, it was a serious thing and she it, you know it took a while for her to recover and everything but I, I'm so grateful for my unexplainable because it reconnected me with her at a time when something big was happening with her and I could give her some TLC when she was in pain and so I, I definitely know that um, messages are, are received everywhere um, you know if you take the time to listen to the world around you you will hear how the world around you is conversing with you at all times and uh, Shane from Unbiased on the Fence had a video on today where uh, guest speakers were talking about that. And um, I wanted to add one more thing. I don't know if it was talked about on the show, how I personally, first of all, I come through the back door with all this. I'm not skilled. I'm not a professional. I'm just a regular person, a regular Abby Normal. Um, but uh, so I say a love bubble um, prayer every and I did not, I, I use the word prayer just because I live in the Bible Belt, but um, but it, you can just call it a wish or whatever, just a love bubble. Say a love bubble for you. I highly recommend it um, so that you know that what you're receiving, the messages you're receiving are in your highest good. And genuinely, this is your free will people, genuinely ask something like the following, only those who have my highest good intended may come and stay the rest forever go away and I say that every day sometimes a few times a day and so when songs you know give me messages or all these other unexplainables that have happened in the past 20 plus years you know I they're they're good they're always good because uh, they are for my highest good and um, the third thing I wanted to say, I did go ahead and listen to a Pandora. Um, I installed it in my phone and, uh, I thought, okay, I'll ask a question. What is the thing that you most want me to know about the event coming? What can I do now to prepare for this? And the song, um, a wise man say only fools rush in I know I sing off key sorry guys but that spoke to me deeply because I am just chomping at the bit wanting to do everything now to prepare for the big event and so that spoke to me because you know, let it flow, let it let go and let it flow. And I'll receive the information as it comes instead of, you know, <laughs> rushing in. So uh, that spoke to me personally. But um, anyhow, I just wanted to share those three things and uh, have fun. We're all learning a lot and all these things, you know, we're going to be amplifying our skills and all of us have these skills it's just we've been programmed that um, that it's weird or wrong, and it's not. It's our natural um, divine gift, you know. All right. I love you.